Callie's back. Hey y'all. Yay, Callie's back. I'm so sore from dancing all weekend. So how was it? It was awesome. What'd you do? Um, not drugs. Boo. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yay, don't do drugs. Like every half hour to hour, someone walked through our camp asking like, y'all have everything you need for your festivities this weekend? Where did you go? go? Where'd you go? Went to Atlanta, um, the Motor Speedway. They had a big festival, Imagine Festival. Imagine Fest. With, um, some, what do you call that, EDM music? Yeah. I guess you'd call it that. <laughs> but you had a good time? It was awesome? Yeah, it was awesome. You camped out, right, for like three days? So hot. <laughs> so hot. Well, and we're glad to have you back, Callie. Super dewy, like at night, and oh. everything was wet. Like we got back to our campsite, and the tents were like drenched. Seriously? So it was super. It's fun. like hot and humid. Hot and humid. Nice. You oh, missed out you. on 48 things being shipped yesterday. Yay. <laughs> and check this out. You want to hear something really exciting? I do. So yesterday, um, about I want to say like 45 of the 48 things went USPS and I took everything to that post office and dropped it off. Uh -huh. Well, apparently somebody new who was working there scanned every single one of those items in wrong. What? So last night, right, I got like 30 emails on eBay from people saying, what's going on? My package is marked as delivered. Yeah, they marked everything as delivered, picked up by um, receiver in Tampa. So people were like freaking out. They were like, are you scamming me? Like, where's my item, blah, blah, blah. So. I just left the post office now. I have to go like talk to them and deal wow. with that. Wow, that's not cool. Yeah, I was like, great, thanks. Can you not have that person scan our stuff anymore? <laughs> How do you mess that up? I don't that's know. A big mess up. It You're is. Fired. You're fired. But we're all good. Everybody's happy on eBay, so no bad feedback, which is important. <laughs> Now we can get the day going. So a lot of you guys have asked us how we get our pictures for eBay so clean and crisp with that nice white background. <laughs> so in this video, we're gonna show you guys, Callie and I are gonna show you guys how to take the best pictures for eBay. Um, we're gonna show you our, our setup for photos, the paper that we use, the lighting that we use, pretty much everything that we use to get those nice clean pictures. And then we'll show you how to use eBay's editing tools to make those pictures really pop and look like stock photos. Everything that we show you guys, all of the supplies that we use, I'll link down in the description of this video so that you can go and buy them if you want to. And again, we're not saying that our setup is the best out there. All we're saying is that this is how we take pictures and this is how our pictures look. And we really like the quality and the way that the pictures look. Right, Callie? Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, here is our photo booth setup. So first I'll show you guys the equipment that we use to get those nice white background pictures. The first thing is, this is special, uh, it's special photography paper. It's non-reflective and it's made for taking those pictures where you can get that nice background. And it comes in a gigantic roll like this. Um, and it's not that expensive. They're like 30 bucks on Amazon and it lasts forever. I mean, even, even if the paper gets a little bit dirty, you can still edit it so that it looks nice. But if the paper gets too dirty, you literally just cut some new one off and you're good to go. So it's really good stuff. We haven't even changed the sheet yet. How long ago did you buy this? Um, this roll, I want to say it's been like a month and a half or Probably. something. Probably. Like yeah. So it lasts long. I would say one roll should last you at least a year. Yeah. yeah. Just try to clean everything before you put stuff on it. The next really important thing that we use for these pictures are these box lights. You can buy them again in a set on Amazon. We do not use the umbrella lights, mostly because they, they're just an inferior product. <laughs> you don't get the same kind of brightness and the same kind of nice light from those umbrella lights as you do from the box lights. So I would say, you know, I think like the umbrella lights for this set, it's like 50 bucks. The box lights are like 70. So in my opinion, pay the extra 20 bucks and get a better lighting product. So we use those two box lights on the side and then we use a front point light, which is this. This is a ring light. Um, we use this, it's a bit overkill, but if you have the expendable income and you wanna buy a ring light, they're like 70 bucks. It does make your pictures, it makes it so that you don't have to do so much editing on the pictures in post. Right. So it keeps the, keeps the stuff nice and bright. So this goes in the front, 
or to the side like that. I'll pass it over to Callie now and she'll show you exactly how she likes to take the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Callie is ready to take pictures. She got a light set up. She got our skizzes. So what's the first thing you do, Callie? Typically, if there's a tag on it, I'm gonna cut that off. So, the, cause we got this for cheap. Nice. You know, they don't want to feel like they're getting ripped off. So snip that off. And then I always make sure I double check it before I fully lay it out for stains and stuff or holes. This one looks pretty good. I'm just gonna lay it out flat right in the middle of the white paper. Try and make it look all purdy like. And then typically I use a lint roller too, but this shirt doesn't have any mochi hair on it, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so to take the pictures, you're using a, what type of camera is that? The Canon Rebel T5i. Okay. With just the basic lens that came with the camera, nice. it's the 18 to 55 millimeter. And even that is pretty overkill, guys. We just like that because it does take really, really nice, high quality pictures. But you can use your iPhone or your Android. As long as your lighting's good, you can still get good pictures. I'm short, so I'm gonna go way up with that. <laughs> Snap, let's see it. Nice, that looks good. And that's before we even put it on eBay and edit it. So you flat lay it out first, right. take one picture, and then how many other pictures do you take, or how do you? Probably about five, so six total for okay. clothing, unless there's like extra holes or stains, and then you wanna get close-ups of that stuff so people know what they're getting. <laughs> first, we're gonna get the length. And we just keep this right in the picture so they can see the actual measurements. So you're taking a picture of the item with the tape measure actually laid flat on the item so people can see exactly what the length is. Right. That's smart. So smart. I try and get the whole shirt in the picture so they can see where the actual, actual measurement is at. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Chris. So for a shirt like this, you, you're taking two measurements, chest and length, is that right? Right. Okay. Ta-da. Fresh to do. Cool. So then... I'll get a picture now of the tag with the size and all of that stuff. So we got the size right in there. Nice, very cool. And you leave a little bit of negative space up at the top so that people can see that it's still nice and clean. Yep. Yeah, the white paper is really nice, guys, for bright colors like this, where you get that white to dark contrast. It's really good. And if there's ever any logos on the clothing, I usually try and get a close-up of that. Some Tommy for your mommy. Yee. Nice. Yee -yee. Then we go flip it over and show them the backside. I always like to grab t-shirts from the bottom and just flip it out in front of me. It lays out a lot nicer like that. And then we're done with our pictures. Nice. So after you're done taking all the pictures, then what's, what's the next step after that? Now I'm gonna fold it up nice and neatly and put it in one of these little, what do you call these bags? Little clear bags. Like clear poly mailers, yeah. With polos, I like to make it so that it's folded nicely and you can actually see the collar and the buttons. Folded up all nice and neat. Whoop. Grab a thank you note in there. I like to flatten it out a little bit and then we seal it up. Nice. It's nice and neat. Thank you note's already in there. So Beautiful. Put that right back or right into a bin now. It's just m taking the extra steps sometimes, guys, to make sure that your, your finished product is nice and professional. This is why we get such good feedback, because we make sure that when the customer receives the item, they are getting a really nicely delivered package. That's right, that's right. Good job, Callie. Ain't it pretty? Very. Basically, Nico. when I start taking pictures, I find a bin first that I can put everything into and just kind of set it near me so I don't have to walk all over the warehouse while I'm doing this. It's empty bin. So we usually write on the bag, starting with whichever bin it's in, and then a number. So we'll do a little Y for the one, and it's done. Cool. And then the next one will be Y2, and then Y3. It just makes it a lot easier for us to find stuff once it's sold. Thanks, Callie. You're welcome. That was really good. So now, after all the pictures are taken, um, I'm gonna take those pictures and I'll show you how we put them into an eBay listing and how they look, and then if there is anything to edit, how we can edit it to make that background look really, really nice and crispy, and it just gives you a really good image on eBay. I mean, I've looked through eBay before, and you'll see it. You just, you're scrolling through and you look at the pictures, and it's literally someone has something on top of their bed with horrible lighting, and you're like, I can't even tell what the product is. Exactly. But when you do it like this, it's crisp, everything's in focus, you can see the label, what the size is, all that kind of stuff. So it makes it a lot easier for people to 
put that money out there to actually buy something. Right. You got to think, you know, which one would you rather buy? Would you rather buy a picture with a terrible background where the, the shirt is wrinkled and you can you know, it looks like garbage? Right. Or would you rather buy one that looks like it belongs in a store catalog? You know, it's just going that extra step, guys. Anyway, let me show you how the listing looks on eBay. Listing. All right, guys, I am now on eBay. You can see here I'm listing this Tommy Hilfiger red and blue plaid polo shirt. The one that we just took pictures of. I've got my categories and stuff down. What you want to do with these pictures is you go down to this section, pretty simple, just click on add photos, find the pictures that you want to upload, upload them to eBay, and then once you've uploaded them, you'll probably notice that the pictures definitely need some editing. So you can see here, if I want this to be my main picture, I'll definitely want to crop it down. And then you can also see sometimes when you upload pictures to eBay, even if you take the nicest, cleanest, brightest pictures possible, there's still going to be little dark areas in the pictures as you can see there so the first thing i do is i crop the picture down to where i want it to be and now i want to get rid of these dark areas so there's two things that i do here most of the time i click on this button here which is brightness and i just slowly move this bar to the right to adjust the brightness of the picture being careful not to wash the image out but also just trying to get rid of that darkness in the corner so you can see right about there it looks like that darkness is going away and one of the things as well sometimes it looks like you're gonna lose detail in the picture when you're editing it but when you click save that detail usually does come back and again sometimes if the colors here start to distort or wash out a little bit I'll grab this contrast bar and I'll bring that to the right a little bit and that usually brings the colors back to the image and then you just click save and there you go guys now you can see if you enlarge it it's a nice crisp white background with the product right in the center everything looks good and then you simply just go to your other pictures and do the same thing edit it how you want to edit it you can see again by adjusting this bar right here it brightens up the background and it blends it right in with the background and there you go guys here's the finished product right here nice clean white background all of the pictures looking nice and uniform you can zoom in on the pictures and see that everything's nice and clean this is really how we like our listings to look nice and professional which really makes people want to buy our items so there you go guys that's how we list our items that's how we get those nice clean pictures i hope that you got a little bit out of this video remember the links to the items that we use for our photography are in the description of this video so feel free to check those out if you want to and thanks again guys please feel free to share the video give it a big thumbs up if you like the video and make sure you subscribe to our channel and we will see you on the next video thanks guys peace